July of 1955, a couple of young farmers from nearby St. Joseph's Ridge purchased a little tavern at the foot of La Crosse's scenic Hedgehog Bluff from Louis and Jeanette Clements. Louis and Jeanette Clements were the people that my parents bought Schmitty's from, and actually, that's a good question from my mother, Arlene. Oh. Um, they moved uh, to uh, Iowa and went to work down there, and uh, they have both since passed away. And uh, in the beginning, uh, when we started out, uh, it was a mom and pop operation, and the only food we had was Friday night fish. And I would take the order, go back to the kitchen and cook the food, and then I would serve it, and then I would wash the dishes. Because I was the only, I was the only person working there, except for the bartender. Arlene and Norbert Schmidt moved with their three young children into four cramped rooms on the second floor of the place they called Schmitty's. In 1958, a dining room was added. The bar area was enlarged, and a fireplace constructed in 1962. At that time, there were a number of contemporary restaurants, which are now gone but Schmitty's was able to survive. We've always been blessed with a lot of good restaurants in La Crosse, and we still are. Um, but as far as independently owned restaurants, there's very few left at, at this time. I think Schmitty's has been able to survive because we, we've had the ability to change with the, with the times and, and taken that opportunity. I, I think it's a very friendly place. People feel comfortable here. We see people that are 75, 80 years old, whether men or women coming in here after their spouse dies or something, because they feel comfortable here. And I think that goes along with everybody else that comes in here also. Families feel comfortable, they don't feel threatened, they feel uh, relaxed. And I think that has to do with uh, the longevity and also um, it has to do with the friendliness of the place. The formula the young couple used to build their creation into a local institution was as simple as it was time-worn. Offer great food at reasonable prices, provide excellent service in a friendly atmosphere. In 1994, after 39 years, Arlene and Norbert passed the torch to their youngest son, Bob. Schmitty's has been known to be kind of an older place. Uh, I think when we did the addition in 2000, um, the average age probably came down eight or ten years. So I, I think we're, we're, we've always attracted families. Um, the advantage of being in business for 55 years is we're seeing third and fourth generation uh, uh, of clientele coming in because their grandparents and parents came in here. Shortly thereafter, daughter Amy, upon graduation from UW-Stout, came to help manage Schmitty's. I've uh, been in the family business now for over around 25 years. I have started out before I was 16 just helping out. Right now I've, I've been in the position of the general manager for the last probably 15 years. In 2000, the bar and dining rooms were expanded, the ceilings raised, and the interior and exterior were completely refurbished. A new kitchen and handicapped accessible bathrooms were added. The party room was moved to the main level, a gas fireplace built, and a new oval bar constructed. At that time, the primary mission of Schmitty's was re-examined. They decided to offer great food at reasonable prices and provide excellent service in a friendly atmosphere. You know, I think Schmitty's, it's a landmark in La Crosse. I, 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 